What was that question? Do they always look the same from the computer to the canvas? No, like for example, on this hand, when I finally did this painting, I did a completely different hand. It didn't work. It start to look improper in the painting. It like looks good as a line drawing. It's fine, but when I actually got it's to right. painting this, so I'm gonna have to redraw this. And that transference from a line drawing to a painting. There's a the, that's that's a that's a big step, and there's things that work and, and don't work. He's definitely got a drug orientation to him that it really uh, it works together well. There's other artists out there that. Uh, uh, you can see they're working with Photoshop and they just take something standard, a standard photo, alter it in Photoshop and then paint it, you know, whereas like Oskang's just look like trippy Oskang paintings, you know what I mean? He has to explain to you what he did, but they still look like his shit, you know, so he's one of the few that I've seen that, that working with a computer where it really works for him. I just, these are my sketchbooks and I, and I tend to fuck around in these, these to me are like you know, doing a painting is a situation where I'm involved in something that's going to be shown. It's going to be sold, hopefully. I have a real responsibility to get it done. I don't, nobody, I don't give a fuck what I put in here. This is where, it's, this is where I'm free. I did this back in uh, 1978. ones is I call them the spotlight series because basically it's the character, a spotlight, and everything else is black, so it's an easy way to get a bit of painting done. So um, who is your favorite artist in the genre that you work in? Well right now, um, actually uh, Robert Williams is, is my favorite artist. The guy um, taught me a lot about painting, he taught me a lot about the art business and uh, taught me about how to actually act as an artist. Uh. I was gonna make paintings on all the scrap material, like I wouldn't let anything go to waste, and you're under all this scrutiny. Artist, being a painter is like kind of a lonely, Thing. You go into your studio and then you create sure. art. I know it's really peculiar the things that go through my head when I fucking paint. Yeah. The first four letters of the word paint is pain. That looks beautiful. Yeah, I think it's a good painting. Breaking up is hard to do. It's about a relationship. See, this, this one here is holding onto the other one. This one's saying, no! <laughs> it like totally dominates them or something? Cool. It's perfect balance, really. Well, you know how you totally dominate them. I divorced one. Yes, you did. She likes Aquarius. If there is one thing I cannot stand, it is Nazi criminals on the loose. <laughs> all the little skunks and possums and every, every little coyote, they're all huddled up somewhere having sex right now. Because when they're like, oh, we're stuck in the rain, what are we gonna do? Hey, let's fuck. Gang painting from his ATM show at the Onyx Cafe. Apparently he had a girlfriend who came to one of his art shows and stabbed a cow's heart through one of his paintings on the wall. A dripping bloody cow's heart. And uh, so I believe this painting refers to that event. I think it's really about feminine power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
it's all about girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Is this from the same time period? Do you want one of those cards? You can have one. I gave her. Thank you. Do you, do you like this guy? Doesn't do anything for me. I've seen it before. He's like in the museums and stuff. No. I think he's from LA. Yeah. He's the one who paints in the window. One word? Yeah. Housegangart.com. Yeah. Robert Williams has pointed out that fine art begins with women's asses and that the accurate rendering of same is often rewarded with accolade. On a more esoteric tip, I maintain that the history of Western painting revolves around depicting crucial moments in collective or personal destiny. That is why we see a painting of George Washington crossing the Delaware, not eating his cornflakes that morning. The painter has to decide what crucial moment is going to be depicted. And in my, so the way I see it, it's a very animated sense, this crucial moment has frames, if you will, leading up to it and frames coming away from it. And the crucial moment is a single frame. And I try and overlap that single frame with these previous frames. So here we have the, the moment of the crucial moment. And I'll try and bring in a little bit of that cornflake breakfast somehow in there. This one is coming up pretty well. It's, a, it's, it's something I gotta do to get X number of paintings done for this show. The one in San Francisco? Yeah. It's gonna be a solo show? No, I mean this guy Van Arno. Oh, okay. Which I think will be a pretty good juxtaposition. He's taking exactly the opposite approach that I do. You know, I I have this whole idea that the human figure has been used in art for so long that I don't want to use it anymore. That's why I paint cats. But Van is a traditionalist in terms yeah. of he's, he's all about the human figure. So, what does it mean? It means that I'm sick and tired of uh, the use of the human figure in art. And I've decided to use cats instead. Why cats? I don't have an answer. <laughs> I don't know. Here is a reproduction of one of the first images received on a television screen. Compare that picture with these of today, and you can judge for yourself how far along the road to perfection television has traveled. Darling, I don't care about this silly war. I want when my uh, family first moved to America in the early 1960s, they yeah, didn't have a TV. They never had a TV before. I want to love you. Live in a little house. In <laughs> The American TV was uh, fundamentally wrong, and I was denied that whole experience. Yeah, my, my parents were from Europe. I was figuring out life, and they were figuring out American culture at the same time. Anyway, so that's a story, you know, a big deal. It's an immigrant story. I'm very lucky, very lucky to be brought up that way, man. Because I'm going to be an artist. Yeah, you know how they fucking love skanks, man. Oh, I, think, I think they fucking bloody suck, you know that? I think they suck. <laughs> I like the shit. I'd like to thank you. I'm so full of love. I'm so full of shit. <laughs>